Hi guys, Mr. Johnny here. I decided to play with a little bit different thing this time. This time it's a, a switch more power supply again, but it's a half bridge, self oscillating half bridge to be exact. Why am I playing with it? I decided to take my time and relax a little bit from that switch more power supply I showed you previously. That uh, 12 volt 3 amp flyback. It works great, don't get me wrong, but I let's just say I have a little bit of EMI problem with it. I have a receiver, a FM receiver nearby, which is just uh, right there. If I open the door, you won't see anything because it's dark outside. Because it's, yeah, it's night time by the way. There is a receiver on the shelf, so it's, it's literally just about a meter from this point. So if it's when it was installed here, it was just spitting rubbish into the wiring, into the distribution box there, and boom, right there. Very crikey. So I just decided to make a little half bridge. I used the software. And I went and punched in some values and for this core, let me get a couple so you will see what I'm talking about. This little toroid, which I normally use for a current transformer, but I went and put two on top of each other, super glued them together and wound, and wound some wire around it. The primary is 176 turns, secondary is six, uh, 17 turns. So that's supposedly a 12 volt output. And yeah, this is nothing else than a CFL ballast. All I did is I took the choke out, I went and then connected two film capacitors, 220 nanofarads in this case, in series and they are connected to the negative and to the positive of the bulk capacitor. Middle point is where your transformer connects and the other side of the transformer goes to the little current transformer there. This little toroid. See this blue winding? That's a winding which is in series with the load, your transformer in this, time, in this case. I calculated the frequency, I just went and used 50 kHz for frequency and the funny thing is that with this load, this thing oscillates at guess what, 56 kHz. And consumes 8.6 watts, that's times 10 range, if we're gonna use times 1, see, 8.6. And the output looks like this. As I mentioned, frequency is about 56 kilohertz, looking nice, but it is a little bit fat there. Let me change the brightness, turn the brightness down so you will see. See, it's a bit fat on the bottom especially. So it might use some snubber across the primary, that should calm it down, but eh, I can't be bothered in this case. It's The lamp is nice and bright. The camera does not lie, this is, yeah, well it does lie a little bit, it's not as bright as it is on camera, but it is pretty bright to be honest. I think I am overdriving it, because the measured value is about 17 volts, which, which seems to be true. <laughs> anyway, I can put the rectifier on it. In this case I need a bridge, but I can make a center tapped winding and put common cathode diode or two diodes wired in this fashion. So that's it. If you want more detail about this modification let me know. I'm gonna make a separate video with a schematic so you will understand what to connect where. If you are a hobbyist which seasoned hobbyist <laughs> I'm gonna put it this way you will understand what to connect where just from my explanations that I babbled about previously but yeah, 
This topic is quite interesting because it allows you to convert this CFL ballast into a small half bridge power supply. It doesn't have to be small. You can use a much bigger toroid, bigger transistors with the heat sinks on them and you can pull 50 watts from it. In this case again I'm pull under 10 watts but it's still pretty darn reasonable because I can put a rectifier there, smoothing capacitor and drive some LED strip as well. So that's that. Thanks for watching. See ya.